Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of Arrow's Impossibility Theorem. The concept of Arrow's Impossibility Theorem is actually named after a very famous economist who is Kenneth Arrow. And this concept uh, of impossibility given by Arrow hence came to be known as the general impossibility theorem or the arrows impossibility theorem and this theorem is actually uh, something to deal with social choice paradox and it would illustrate the flaws of ranked voting system this theorem would be helping us to have a clear order of preference and he says that the uh, proponent of the theory says that a clear order of preference cannot be determined while adhering to the mandatory principles of fair voting procedures. We know that the democracy is a form of government which is for the people, of the people and by the people. And this depends on the people's voices being heard. If you take the case of an example, just think that when it is time for a new government to be formed, an election would be called. And here, what, in, what happens in a democracy is that people will go and they will be casting their vote. And there will be millions of vote in slips. And these slips need to be counted in order to determine the winner. Winner would be the most popular candidate. And he would be continuing in the office till the next election. Coming to the Arrow's impossibility theorem. Arrow was connecting this situation to his impossibility theorem. Actually, uh, he was trying to connect the situation to certain already existing theories and then he formulated his own impossibility theorem. He says that in all the cases where preferences are ranked, it would be mostly impossible to formulate a social ordering. And uh, this is something that will happen without violating one of the following conditions. And let's see what are the conditions. The so first condition is non-dictatorship. That means that here the wishes of multiple voters should be taken into consideration. So otherwise, if it is dictatorship, uh, this is not happening. Next, we have Pareto efficiency. That means that a unanimous individual preferences must be respected. If every voter prefers candidate A or B, candidate A should win because everyone is preferring candidate A. Now we have the next uh, impossibility condition that is independence of irrelevant alternatives. It says that if choice, if a particular choice is removed and the other order should not change. For example, you are given uh, some choice. Okay. And here the candidate A ranks ahead of B. And that means that since candidate A is ranked um, ahead of B, A should be still ahead of B even if there is a third candidate in the name of C. And also if you remove C from participation, that will not affect uh, A and B because A is ahead of B everywhere. Next, Moving to the next condition that is unrestricted domain. It says that voting must account for all individual preferences. Next, we have social ordering. Here it says that each individual should be able to order the choices in way and indicate ties. So that these were the different conditions that Arrow was saying. And he says that it is impossible to go for a social ordering by satisfying all the specified conditions and this theory is considered to be a part of social choice theory and uh, this considers whether a society can be ordered in in a way that would be reflecting individual preference and the theory of impossibility given by Kenneth Arrow is being is been a source of debate for different different econ economies and also we can see that it went on to be widely used for analyzing problems in welfare economics.
let's see an example of arrows impossibility theorem just think that voters are asked to rank their preference and they are given three projects and these projects are a b and c and also you have to understand that the country has got 99 voters who are asked to rank the order they are asked to rank their order from best to worst okay so 33 or uh, people would be ranking in this manner like a is greater than b is greater than c or they will be preferring a or b and they prefer b over c 33 of them will be ranking like this they prefer b over c and prefer c over a and that remaining 33 would be preferring c more than a more than b so we can see that 66 water prefers a or b and 66 prefer b over c and the remaining 66 prefer c over a so what happens here is that two third majority of voters would be preferring a over b and b over c and c over a so this exists there is a paradoxical result and for the same reason we cannot go for a social ordering by satisfying all the criteria or all the conditions that we have discussed earlier so arrows in the impossibility theorem says that if the conditions cited above in this article like the non-dictatorship, Pareto efficiency criteria, independence of relevant alternative, etc. If these are some things uh, which are to be a part of decision making, then it is impossible to formulate a social ordering by satisfying all the uh, criteria. You need to violate at least one of the criteria that we have specified. So that's all about Arrow's Impossibility Theorem. You can like, share and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. And also you can be a part of my Telegram channel and Telegram group to discuss your doubts. I'll be providing the links of these in the description box.